Oh, what a set. What a hook set. Welcome back to my second channel. In this vlog, I finally get round to some proper pike fishing with a few of my friends. There we go. We're in. And as I filmed this video around Christmas time, there was people to see and food to eat. Down at my first spot of the day, you might recognize this from my other videos. It's a very popular one of mine. Down by the tunnel under the motorway. Hopefully, there should be chub here. Maybe gudgeon too. Let's see how it goes. I always find myself drawn to small stream fishing. It's probably because I've done it since I was a kid, but also because these little rivers are the perfect place to get a few bites on a cold winter's day. It's a dace, but it's orange. Around the same time, I also squeezed in a short perch session with Ginger Tom. This Tom, not that Tom, as I actually wanted to catch something. Up until this point, my winter had consisted of editing a lot. So it was nice to get back out on the bank again. That'll do. <laughs> Two threes. Two three pounders. <laughs> hey. Oh, it's not every day you get to see a three pound perch in England, let alone two of them. To do, it, to do it with my best buddy makes it even better. I've got that on camera now, my best buddy. Yeah, you are. It's official. Yeah. <laughs> After our successful perch session, we decided to go for pike the following weekend. We were going to fish the tidal river, which holds some absolute giants. But first I needed to prepare my kit. Just been getting my pike gear ready for tomorrow. I haven't actually been out pike fishing yet this whole year. So kind of a little bit excited. I tied up a few fresh traces and loaded the gear into my rental van. My own van is still being fixed after the crash in my last vlog. That's the van packed, ready to go tomorrow. I'll see you in the morning. Um, it looks like I'm the only person down here. But is the river gonna be flooded? That's the next question. Oh mate, that's easily fishable. Mate, it looks pretty much perfect. Good news, the river looks bang on and I'm gonna go get my kit. Hi. Hello mate, I just come from Argos. Come to check your tickets. Why have your voices got, is it to counteract the fact- Well, I'm a gem sandwich, Counteract the fact that my voice is, um... Broken finally? <laughs> yeah, you don't sound good, mate. You have to go home. You might have the, the vid. Vid? Yeah. Oh, the co. Yeah, not that kind of vid. Oh, I didn't think that was a thing anymore. Well, it just disappeared off the face of the earth. The weather in England has been rough lately, with most rivers being flooded for much of this pike season. That said, there is always still a chance, as Cal proved to me last week. Happy days. Awesome. Goodbye. Tom has been out fishing lately too, catching a whole load of... Oh wait, pretty sure he's been planking again. Ed, are you scared of pike? They got big teeth. I'm a big boy now. Okay. Oh, what a set. What a hook set. First bike. Go on, Ed. Oh, he's quite nice. That's not bad at all. Yeah, he'll do. Oh, you are the talent. Wee. Go on, son. You can smash. Yes. <laughs> Thanks Good for letting me punch you up, Carl. Whoa. Oh, <laughs> push you in. Yeah, push you in. <laughs> oh, I've just had a bite. Oh, no. Oh, I nearly fell over. There we go. We're in. We're in. We thought it might kick off when the tide started to change. And it is. We're getting bites. We're catching pike. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that is, that is, that is. That is definitely going. Yes. Go on, son. <gasps> e let go. <laughs> Actually, no, before we move, I'm going to go check the colour of the other side. Oh, hello. That's a bite. I think that's a, that's a take. No way! <laughs> I 
<laughs> I've had a cast, one cast in this new spot and I've got a bike. He's on! So cool. I think we should definitely move down here. You reckon? Yeah, it's a bit... <laughs> Lively one. Let's let go. Grab him. I thought he was going to get away. <laughs> Were you recording on your... <laughs> oh, lovely little one. Why didn't it swim away? <laughs> Oh wow, that was cool. What? <laughs> what was the water at the end? success. Well done, well done Tom. Oh, oh, I, oh, I hit the ground. Expertly done. Yeah, the extra string makes it a little bit harder for people to unwrap it. <laughs> Builds the excitement. Merry Christmas, fish. You got a bit of extra food today. It was about 45 minutes ago. It's Christmas Eve, by the way. I was walking around the local park lake. We were looking for holly leaves or holly berries. I don't know. Omi suggested to me that we go fishing. This is a win, win, win scenario for everyone. So it looks like my Christmas present has come early. Ready to go? Yep, ready. Uh, this one's yours. See you down there. Yeah, see how that now sinks down? Yeah. You want it to just flutter down towards the bottom, not sit up on the surface. I managed to get all the rods out, decided to wade two of them out to the island, which was a little bit sketchy in the pitch black darkness, but thankfully the lake hasn't got crazy deep since I was here, here last. And then I cast one rod down the margin where Alex caught the big common back when we did part lake campaign, very long time ago. Anyway, enough talking. We need to get some sleep. But yeah, the rods are out. We're in with a chance. Didn't expect um, us to be out fishing on Christmas Eve, but here we are. Night, Night. Omi ended up going home that night around midnight as it actually got really cold. Would you look at this? <laughs> I've hooked one. Oh, I think it's the koi. Yeah, I got back down the lake, uh, maybe midnight or one or so, I don't remember. It was early hours of the morning. Redid the rods, which took a little while on my own because it was very dark by that point. And on Christmas morning, I'm now playing a fish. This is madness, absolute madness. My, my vlog camera has just died. I just run out of battery over there, so I'm on the, uh, I'm back on the iPhone camera. <laughs> it is, it's the big koi. No way. <laughs> Swam straight in. <laughs> chill, ch just relax. There we are. Christmas morning, got myself probably about a 20 pound koi from the park lake, a place I used to fish years ago. It brought back good memories being back down here, I tell you that. Farewell, old friend. Crazy to think that that cart might be almost as old as me, if not maybe even older, because I caught that fish when it was exactly the same like size in 2013 or something. Oh, it's funny. Sometimes recapture is a bit annoying. Other times it's kind of nice to see an old friend. I have to go home unsurprisingly is christmas day and i'll need to pack up about nine o'clock so i've probably got 45 minutes before i need to leave but maybe the final rod that's out there by the island might just deliver one more bite You know, it, it, I don't eat it. Oh, 
Merry Christmas. Thank you. Who's Carlos? Alex has cooked up a storm once again. What have we got? That looks like sprouts. They are. Picked a horrible thing. That's a bit more like it. Mmm. Wow, oh, look at that. That looks very crunchy. Eat it. Come on. That is so good. Tommy has passed her test and that <laughs> means that she can drive us. But we do have to get there alive first. <laughs> oh, Ed. Christmas has been good, but I think it's about to get better. I haven't been to this place probably for this is the trout bit, isn't many it? years. Yes. Yay. <laughs> oh no, it might be too flooded. I don't know. All right, yeah. <laughs> Christmas is ruined. I bet there's big roach, trout. There might even be pike here. Or maybe not actually, it's flowing quite fast. The last two days have been spent full on seeing lots of people and family stuff and presents and loads of food, probably a bit too much food to be honest. But now, my favourite bit of Christmas is when it all dies down and everyone has like a hangover or that bit where you, you come back down after all the excitement. It's all quiet and it's peaceful and I just like to go on a nice walk somewhere pretty with Omi and chill out. Probably what most people think is the, the rubbish bit. <gasps> Big trout! I finally saw a trout. I don't know if you saw that on the camera, but can you see it? It's just there. Oh, um, wow. we saw, we did see a trout. Oh, um, look, 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 come out, stand where I am here. See, to see in the, in the base yeah. of the tree, there's one over there. Hello, Arm. Hi. There you go. Thank I have this beautiful you. flowers. Omi is in the garden today, tidying up and making it all look pretty. And I have got my 2023 review document to put together. Really, I mean, I've been sponsored by Corda now for, I think, four years or something. And to be honest, it's very steady. It's a very positive and friendly and pretty chilled out relationship. They give me fishing tackle and some money. I make fishing videos, inspire more people to go fishing. It's a good little deal that we've got going. However, at the end of each year, you know, I like to go to them and say, look, this is what I did. This is the videos I made. This is the sort of view count. This is the interaction, da 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 da. Because it makes me feel good to know that I am giving them value whilst they are also making my career possible. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Just some stats and figures and drawing up some plans for next year as well. We did it. <laughs> We've got 500,000 subscribers today. I can't even imagine what that looks like if you put that many people in one place. It'd be crowded, I wouldn't like it. <laughs> in my next vlog, I'll be going for the important meeting at Corda HQ and getting out for my first big carp session of the year. Hope you enjoy.